All right, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so, 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 what was I saying? Now you can hear me. Now you can hear me. Um, yeah, so it's Saturday morning. It's absolutely awful outside. So I figured instead of doing today's pre-race pre -race ride outside in the cold, in the rain, I would uh, just jump on to it and stream it. 45 people, I did not expect 45 people to be up on uh, Saturday morning watching the stream. So thank you to everyone who joined. If anyone wants to jump on and ride with me, feel free. We're riding for an hour this morning. Ugh, hold on. Just check you can see me. Yes, you can. All right. No, so yeah, we got sound now. It's okay. Nice bug head. What's bug head? Do you mean bed head? Probably. I'm from Singapore. Wow. Hello, hello Singapore. Is this a QA and a as well? You can ask me questions. We're just gonna chat. We're just gonna chat and stay dry and warm. I've been, I've been up for a few hours, brother, been sick from the night out. I've got zero sympathy for you, George. That's self-inflicted. Yo, Zach, what's up, my man? Hello from New Zealand. I suppose, what time is it in New Zealand actually? I bet it's like evening for you, isn't it? Oh, big head on Zwift, yeah, what's the big head all about? Why have I got a big head? I've seen them do this before, but I'm not too sure why we've got a big head. Someone can let me know, that'd be great. Hello from Canada, wow. All right, what, let everyone let me know what, what time it is in your local time zone, because I'm always interested. April Fool's Day. Is there a ride in England for Mike Hall? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, I talk about that a little bit in, tonight, in tonight's vlog, so yeah, devastating news. It just puts it all into perspective, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm not aware of any ride in the UK. It would be cool if there was a ride, because I would love to, I'd love to attend and pay my respects, but that I'm aware of, there's only one, there's three I think. According to the Indie Packs Twitter, there's one in Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. Emily Fowler. It's 9.11 p.m. in, in New Zealand right now. I think that's, I always find time zones bizarre. That's crazy, isn't it? How it's like morning here in the UK people are just waking up a lot of people are still asleep and in in like New Zealand Australia it's in the evening what about America who's in America 1 a.m. in Canada wow go to bed Jonathan go to bed turn the stream off <laughs> oh working fair enough man fair enough have you done a rollers 10 10 mile TT I have but I've no idea what time it is but it's like years ago I forgot my drink. Ah. Oh well. Oh well. It's okay. Cam, do you recommend Zwift or would you rather be out? Uh, both really. Like on a day like today, <laughs> I would rather be on Zwift. But uh, on a nice day, you can't beat going out, can you? Do you use a fan? Yeah, I've got a fan on. Yeah, next to me. You can't see it though. So maybe I, could, I should act hard. Nah, no fan. I don't need a fan. <coughs> Hate England. Yeah, like, yesterday it was so nice. And today it's the complete opposite. I swear, like the, the English weather at the minute is just bipolar. One day it'll be like, oh, let's be let's be nice today, and then the next day it's like, let's rain today. But even throughout the day, like yesterday morning it was raining, and then by the time we got to the afternoon it was like 17 degrees, 17 step, 
17 degrees, I'm still half asleep. 17 degrees in the sun. Uh, what race are you racing? Uh, Cape and Ray tomorrow. Tomorrow morning up in Lancaster, which is about 30 minutes away. 4 a.m. in Nashville, Michigan. Robert, go back to bed unless you're up for work. See you at Cape and Ray. Oh, Josh. Josh Pete's in the chat. Good morning, Josh. Zach, why, why don't you race in Zwift? I don't know. I just haven't yet. I will do. I didn't want to race during the winter, but uh, now we're coming to season. Maybe if there's no races on and during the week or during the weekend or something, I'll just do some racing on Zwift. If I did some racing on Zwift, though, we'd have to stream it, wouldn't we? You'd have to see me suffering. Have you raced in Scotland? No, I haven't actually. It's one place I haven't ridden. I've ridden in Northern Ireland, in Republic of Ireland, in Wales, in England obviously, but not Scotland. Could be worse still snowing. Woo! Snow! Hey Cam, Ewan, Evan, Stafford. What's up? What's up? One Jeff, hi. I'm looking, all right, I'm looking for a turbo trainer for Zwift. What would you recommend to be budget friendly? Are you looking for a smart trainer or a dumb trainer, or like, like an old school trainer? So do you want a trainer that which like reacts to the incline with um, with like in-game hills, or are you not bothered about that? Do you like the snap? Yeah, I really like the snap actually. It's um, yeah, it just seems to like the changes in resistance arm aren't, aren't they're, they're very natural. Like it's not sort of dead easy, and then jumps have been dead hard when you're going up a climb. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed with this snap actually. Hi from Italy, Fabio. What's up? Would you rather have the kicker? I mean, yeah, of course, but the kicker's a thousand pounds. Some pretty amazing routes in Scotland. Yeah, I do want to go riding in Scotland, especially around the coast, around like the west coast. Go right, right over to some of the little islands and stuff. That'd be sick. Hello from Denmark, Nicolaj. I'm sorry if I just butchered your name. I wonder how different you are. Yeah. Obviously, like, with wheel off, with wheel on trainers, so just like a standard trainer, if you sort of stand up and sprint, you've always got that initial wheel slippage, which with a wheel off trainer like the kicker, you, you're not going to have. It's steaming hot in NQ Australia at the minute. I, I don't know what to say to that. I'm looking out the window. It's pouring down. If anyone's watching from the north of England, they'll back me up. It's not a very nice day. It's just dark as well. It's really dark. But we're not going to talk about the weather. Because inside, it's sunny on Zwift. It's always sunny in Watopia. Well, it's not always sunny in Watopia, actually. It sometimes rains, doesn't it? But it's sunny today. That's the main thing. Yeah, Mallorca this time of year is perfect because like there's not that many tourists. So, like the thing in Mallorca, you've got to always watch out when you, especially coming down the descents, is all the tourist buses, especially up to uh, like Soler, Sacoba, uh, over to the lighthouse. There's always like tourist buses, but um, at this time of the year, it's not too bad, and the weather's nice, so it's perfect. There's a 30-minute long race for warm-up for the legs tomorrow. Now I'm not racing today, man. <laughs> Racing tomorrow outside. Do you cross train off season? I run, yeah, I love running. I'm in London, nice blue sky. Yeah, Georgia, my girlfriend, she lives in Milton Keynes, which is like that end of the country. And she said, it's cold, but blue skies. But it's always raining up north. Like, if it's sunny down south, it'll be raining up north. 
do you race track? If not, why? No, I don't race track. Uh, no really, no real answer to why. My, my sister started racing track now, as you've seen in the vlog. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe this winter or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like I would be keen to race track. It does look fun, and and especially during the winter because you're like you're racing inside. You're not getting wet and cold training outside. Not that that's a factor because. I'm from the north, but uh, yeah, it's nice to sort of mix it up a little bit. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm keen to do a bit of track, at least training this winter. And maybe now my sister's got a bike, I've got more of a reason to go to. Mr. Sub-20, still can't believe that. Yeah, Zach, don't listen to a word Ethan says. It's grim up north. It's grim up north. How are those spinning wheels wheel sets yeah the spinning with they're, they're nice they're really wide but they're so so smooth and especially up here the weather is like not the weather the potholes the road surfaces is so bad so yeah for riding in the north they're perfect they are perfect what kind of race are you doing tomorrow okay so let's talk about the race tomorrow it is 75 miles which is about 130 kilometers i think maybe 125 uh something like that and it's a fairly hilly it's a fairly hilly circuit uh the finish climb is like a one mile it's like one and a half kilometer climb up to um up to like the finish line up the, to the start finish line and it's quite a steep climb maybe 10 percent nine percent average so yeah, that's where all the moves happen. Uh, the rest of the circuit isn't really that bad, but it's just one big climb every lap, and we might do, we might do like eight or nine laps. Have you ever ridden cross since you like running? No, I haven't actually, and especially coming from a BMX background, I think the cross would be something that I'd be okay at. I want to try cross as well. I want to try everything. Golf Vlog UK, go on, lad. How you doing, man? Who do you think will win Flanders tomorrow? I'm a huge Sagan fan. Yeah, I want Sagan to win Flanders. I want Sagan to win Flanders. Sagan's a marked man though, isn't he? Like, Sagan will stand up to stretch and everyone will like panic and think he's attacking. Sagan is a legend though. You're a bit big headed. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Oscar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that one. That was, that was good. That was good. Durbo, yeah, Durbo is a shout. Like, to be honest, I haven't, I haven't actually looked too much into the start list yet for Flanders. I probably will do today. I don't actually know who's racing it. I know Sagan's there. Nobody will work with him. Yeah, exactly. Even, uh, who was it last time? Was it Terpstra who was with? And even Terpstra was sat on like, Terpstra, come on, man. It's one of the biggest cyclists in the world. One of the best cyclists in the world, and he won't even work with Sagan. It's mad how much our channel has grown since last August. I know, yeah, it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Like we're closer now to 6k than we are to 5,000 subscribers, and uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Which pro rider would you compare yourself to be? None. <laughs> Do you mean like what style of rider I am? Like, I'm pretty good at climbing, but I wouldn't say I'm an out and out climber. 
and I can still sprint from my BMX day. So and my ideal race situation is a rolling terrain in the breakaway of about five or six people and then being able to sprint from that breakaway at the end. When did you start riding your bike? Um, a bike, about four. A road bike, uh, 16. <laughs> I would compare myself to Tom Dumoulin. Was shit at climbing, now in the process of getting better. <laughs> nice one, Zach. I like it. I like it. Big heads and Zwift, maybe an April Fool's prank. Could be, actually. If anyone knows, let us know why I've got a big head. All the way from Darwin, Jack. Are you riding today, Jack? Are you riding in the rain? Oh, it is April Fool's. Cheers, Zach. Did you race as a youth? No, not, not as a road cyclist. I raced as a youth, uh, obviously as a BMX racer, but not as a, a road cyclist. My favorite world tour team. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite world tour team, but I'm gonna get grilled here for not saying Team Sky, but probably Orica Green Edge or Dimension Data. Because, why, why do I? Orica Green Edge, they seem like a team. They always seem to get stuff done. They always seem to get results, but have fun in the process. Obviously, they're a, ser they're, obviously they're a serious team because they're a World Tour team. But, um, yeah, after watching like, the backstage passes, they just seem to be... Orica Scott, sorry, Orica Scott. Yeah, they just seem to ha sort of ha have a good time in the process. Are you still in 2015? Yeah, it seems like it. And uh, Dimension Data again, my favorite rider, Lachlan Morton rides for Orica, um, rides for Dimension Data. So, and I just like, I like the cause behind it. How, like the fact that they're getting the, the charity behind Dimension Data is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, if I was gonna be, if I was gonna be patriotic, I would have said Team Sky, but I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Do you prefer crits over road races? No. Uh, I actually, I prefer, just because my style of riding, I prefer road races, longer road races, like three hours of racing. Um, yeah, some hills. But like, don't get me wrong. I do love, I do love crit racing. I love how fast it is, how aggressive it is. Sheep House Lane, yeah, Sheep House Lane. We will be doing that in the Chorley GP National, which I'm racing. I think it's the 15th of April, like two more, two weeks away. <coughs> How's the Mavic drone? Haven't seen it much in the vlog late, lately. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, the, the reason the, the, the drone's not been in the vlog is because of the weather. It's just been raining. Been, and on the, on the days when it's not raining, it's just so windy. And even though the Mavic's pretty good in the, in, in the wind, it, uh, it's real hard to get those nice, steady, cinematic shots, you know? Go catch Ben Swift. What is he riding? It's Swifty riding. I can't see him on my list. Why is your head so big? All right, so Zach Rogers let us know that it is because uh, today is April the 1st. It's April Fool's Day. And it's uh, an April Fool's prank. All 
I passed him. Oh. I don't know, he's gone. I've dropped him. Hey, come, Simon. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, he stopped. Swifty stopped. Fair enough. B. Roden, thank you for, thank you for the uh, right on. Thank you for the right on. Your biggest su success in road cycling. My biggest success is probably in my first season, I won the junior uh, North Region Road Race Championships. So, yeah, I'd say that, I'd say that. What's your style of riding or climbing? I mean, cadence and stuff. Uh, probably like, do you, mean what, do you mean what cadence do I do when I'm climbing? Probably between about 85, eight, well about 80, ni 80, 90 probably. Sheep House Lane or Hunter's Hill Cam? Do you mean what, which I'd rather do or which is worse? I'd rather do Sheep House Lane. I hate Hunters is horrible. That first kick up Hunters, Hunters Hill is horrible. How do you keep motivated on beep English mornings? Uh, riding on Zwift. <laughs> now I've talked about this in the vlog before. The, ri the, w the way I can st I stay or I keep my hey Cam, a la a la ve. What's up? I don't know why I keep saying what's up. Anyway, yeah, how I stay motivated. Uh, I always think like my competitors will be either sat like sacking off training today. They they won't be going training because the weather's no good. So uh, yeah, that's how I sort of motivate myself. Because like, you kind of like getting one up on all the other riders. So that's the way I stay motivated, and it works for me. So you should really like invest in that thought. Alright, let's, let's jump on Hart, Garrett, G, G Harding's wheel. He's uh, pressing on a bit. Uh, subscribed recently. Hey James, thanks. Do you have a day job? Yeah, I work part time. But I just don't show it in the vlog. I always get asked questions about work. Who wants to see, who wants to see like vlogs about work? That's boring stuff, man. We talk about cycling here. We cyclists, you know? Do you use a train a specific tire when riding on the snap? Uh, no, I probably should. But maybe for the winter I will. But at this time of the year, that the amount I'm using it doesn't really, I uh, yeah, I don't bother putting a train a tire on. Which in the long run is probably gonna sever my tire, but. Cycling games, hi, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm just trying to wake myself up, sorry. I'm trying to wake myself up. All right, so we're just gonna be doing an hour today. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some three minute intervals, just nice and easy, well not easy, but like tempo, high tempo. Come for the next prime minister, yes. Vote Cam. You're Cam, are you vlogging today? Uh, I don't know actually, I might, like there's a vlog going up today, but um, other than other than this ride this morning, I've not got a lot else that I need to do today. So it's Saturday, I might just take an easy day, you know? And then uh, focus, on the, focus on the race day vlog tomorrow, make sure that's a good one. But there will be a vlog up today, from yesterday, but maybe not like t recorded today up tomorrow. I've not decided yet. I haven't. Your new mic is crisp. That's, that's the plan. These things cost like, well, to be fair, they, they cost like 120 pounds new, but I didn't pay that because this is second hand. Tomorrow's race day. Yeah, yeah, cycling games. Race day tomorrow, so. Nice ride today. Nice ride today. Go for a jersey. What, in game? 
probably won't get one. You should vlog right now. A large proportion of your subs are interested in training. It would make great content. Yeah. Um, this is it, like, it's like finding a balance because a lot of the subs, a lot of the viewers like, obviously, the, the, the training content and me talking about, oh, Brad, the Wiggins just drove fast. Like the, road fast, sorry. Like the um, 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 training content, but some people don't. So uh, that's why I leave my Strava in the description. So people, like if the hardcore training people who want to see what training I'm doing, I, uh, they, all my training's on Strava. So sometimes I talk about the training, sometimes I show a lot of the training, and other times I do not. What's the most difficult aspect of doing daily vlogs? Uh, the most difficult aspect? Probably being, yeah, probably the editing just because it takes about four hours to edit a vlog, so sometimes there can be late nights, and I try not to have late nights, but um, yeah, probably the editing, but like, that's, the, what, that's what I enjoy most, I love the editing part, so, Smokey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> that jersey's looking good, yeah, the jerseys are sick. Uh, might be a stupid question, do you need to turn turn the bike around on corners or just cycle straight. Yeah, you cycle straight. You can turn around like do a physical 180 by pressing down on the keyboard or like turn around on the on the app which connects to which connects to the computer like on your phone, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you don't actually physically need to turn around corners. Unless it's like a junction, you'll notice when I come up to a junction, it'll, there'll, there'll be two arrows like maybe straight on the left or left and right and you can press which arrow you uh, can turn. But I normally just put myself on a specific circuit, like today's a flat route, and then just follow it. I don't really bother changing to go to different routes. Do you train at Sweet Spot? I've just started to train. Yeah, a lot of training's done at Sweet Spot. Like Sweet Spot, I find you get your most, as you say, bang for your buck. So that means it's the most effective, a most effective session in improving your FTP in a, like a short period, of, short period of time. So go out and do two or three 20 minute intervals at Sweet Spot, which is just below. Um, your threat, your your threshold. So it's like top of zone three, bottom of zone four, and I find, for me anyway, I can sit in that, uh, I can sit in that zone for quite quite some time, maybe like 30, 40 minutes. What's your bedtime the night before a race? Uh, I don't go to bed any later than ten. How much later, how much longer will you be on? I will be on for 30 more minutes. So come on, if anyone wants to come and ride, I'm doing a flat route, come and ride. 90% of FTP, yeah, so sweet spot's 90% of FTP. Uh, to become an elite athlete in football, you need to do about 10,000 hours of training. How long does it become, how long would you say to become a cyclist or what do you class as an elite, or what you class as an elite? To become a pro cyclist, ooh. I don't know actually, that's a good question. One I haven't ever thought about. I'd say a lot about us. A lot about us, probably more than 10,000. I don't know though. I could just be chatting rubbish. Um, you forgot your heart rate monitor, yeah. This stream was a last minute thing. I was I was getting ready to go outside and I thought, you know what? Let's um let's just jump on Swift and let's do a stream. 
So I wanted to do it by nine o'clock, and I was like a couple of minutes late. So I was rushing around, and I left my um, heart rate monitor in my bedroom. Do you play Pro Cycling Manager? No, I don't actually. I don't. Alright, we're going to do a couple, maybe three efforts. Short three minute efforts at about 300 watts. Let's do that. Alright, from 32 to 35. That'll do. Let's go for green. Nah. I need a power meter to do some proper um, to do some proper sprinting, which, by the way, still isn't fixed. What's your FTP? My 20-minute power is 370 watts, which works out at like 340 for the hour. The audio is less. Oh, okay, hold on. What about now? Is that better? Audio is great. I'm glad it's great because this microphone is a big piece of kit. Green race bike, uh, probably the uh, the new. Hold on. The new Pinarello F10 or the uh, the Canyon Air Road, a matte black Air Road. It's just so nice. Hey Cam Thomas. What's up? What's up? I need to stop doing that. What about the specialized S works? I prefer the older S works to like the, the Venge. Like that new that new bar stem combo. What is that? You should start a vlog with what's up. That could be like my new catchphrase. What's up? <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Uh, you can see what's up in the Mr. T version, yeah. <laughs> Get some nuts. <clears throat> There's a question I was going to answer. Enough. Oh yeah, erg mode is better for three minute intervals. I know, I should be in erg mode. I just keep forgetting because coming from a dumb trainer, obviously that was never a problem. The resistance was never a problem. And now I'll be doing an interval and suddenly I'll start going downhill. I'm going to spin it out like 130 RPM. Trying to hold 300 watts. <laughs> You're my favourite. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Thank you, my man. You can replace the bar and stem. Yeah, I know, but. Kind of doesn't look right, does it? If you have the Venge, the new Venge without that bar and stem. 
How do you go out with no leg warm with no overshoes or gloves? <laughs> so I've covered this in a vlog uh, a little while ago. I just don't like wearing overshoes. I don't know. It's like a psychological block that I've got. I feel like I can't ride as fast or as hard when I got overshoes on. It's a weird, bizarre thing. Jay Budgel, thank you for the thank you for the ride on. And uh, gloves. It's not that cold at the minute. Like it's warming up pretty nicely. I went out even even though it was raining, it was still like 15 degrees. So you can ride. You don't need long gloves for riding in 15 degrees, even if it's raining. Um, my dream bike is the Trek Madone 9.5. Yeah, I actually prefer the uh, Imonda, the SLR. I just prefer climbing bikes in general, to be honest. To like the full out aero bikes, even though my dream bike is a Canyon Aero. But in general, in general. Come, who's your bet for tomorrow's Tour of Flanders? Sagan. Peter Sagan. You change the resistance settings so it doesn't change. Yeah, I know. Someone said that. It's called erg mode. I should have planned it better. But we're not in erg mode. <laughs> it's weird seeing you go from like 300 subs to being people's favorite vlogger. Grind's paying off. Yeah, man, finally. Finally. Like even though we've got over five and a half thousand subscribers now, like you 55 people or 60 people watching the stream, like you're the ones that count. You're up on a Saturday morning with me watching this live stream of me riding my bike around a virtual island. It is insane. When you're next in Milton Keynes, we should go for a ride. Yeah, if you want to go for a ride, let me know. Like I said, anywhere, even where I live, if anyone lives near me and they want to go for a ride, just message me, we'll go for a ride. I'm a 13 year old kid starting to cycle and I was lucky enough that dad bought me a nice bike. Yeah, parent support for sports like cycling, like expensive sports, is so, uh, helps out so much. Saturday night here, Cam. Yeah, Paul. We talked about this earlier on in the stream. I asked everyone what time it was in their local time zone. So I'm thinking like, no one's gonna be on because it's the morning. But um, turns out it's the evening or the afternoon or, or like middle of the night for some people. When and, when and where will you be in the US this year? All right, so I haven't talked about this, but I want to go to New York this year. It's my 21st birthday in um, October, the end of October. So like September time at the end of the season, my kind of dream is to go to New York with, uh, with my girlfriend. So I, m maybe that'll happen, maybe it won't. Who knows, who knows, who knows. What gear are you pushing? 52, 18? Good morning also, yeah, more media. What's up? What's up? Everton or Liverpool today? Deadpool, come on man. I don't watch football. I probably shouldn't have just said that actually. Probably a lot of football fans in the chat. Probably a lot of football fans. Cycle up to Inverness, then we can go for a ride. If, I, if I'm ever in Inverness, for whatever reason, we'll go for a ride. Zwift saved me when I broke my broke my elbow in December. Cheers, C. Campbell, for the ride on. Legend. Uh, when I yeah, when I so you broke your elbow, you were riding on Zwift. Have any of you seen that um, that Zwift that new Zwift video with uh, Matt Heyman? That is such a good video. If you haven't seen it, head over to Zwift's like Facebook page or Twitter or whatever and watch it. It's so cool.
Toe Down Under would be a good winter break. Yeah, I'd also love to come to Australia, like Melbourne, Adelaide, but um, Australia is expensive. Australia is very expensive. Yeah, if I come to New York, we'll go for a ride. 120k ride tomorrow. Good luck with that. Although doing it, doing it in Australia is a little bit easier than doing it in sunny, rainy England. I play semi-pro. Oh, sweet. Did you hear the news about Mike Hall? Yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? Horrible. I guess, like I said earlier on in the stream, it kind of puts everything into perspective a little bit and how that could literally happen to anyone, like me, you, watching the stream, it's, it's horrible, yeah. And even like so close to the finish as well. It was what, about 500 kilometers from Sydney? Horrible. Do you watch Cycle Maven? Yes. Who doesn't? <laughs> Do you have any local chain gangs? Yes, we uh, we do. On Thursday evenings, it started actually last week, but yeah, the weather was horrible. And uh, the chain gang go around here when the weather's bad. It's so sketchy. So when it's raining, I don't do it. But uh, yeah, we have a ch we have a pretty good chain gang. It's like 20 miles, so 32 kilometers fast. Yeah, only moderators can post links, unfortunately. But like, it's easy enough to find, just head over to Zwift uh, on Facebook or on Twitter. Are you racing tomorrow? Yes. Hence, it's called the pre-race ride. Come on, Mike. <laughs> now, racing tomorrow, we got like a 120 kilometer race. If so, you should take it easy tonight. Yeah, we are taking it easy. We're doing a nice, easy hour. A couple of three minute tempo intervals. What's, what's the course for tomorrow? Uh, Cape and Ray. Does anyone know Cape and Ray? It's kind of... It's, it's like a rolling course, but there's one real big climb up to the finish. Maybe one, one mile long, one, one and a half kilometers. It's fairly steep as well, so all the attacks always go there <laughs> every year. And over the top as well, it's quite exposed and it's, it doesn't really descend straight away. It's quite open. What's your endurance zone power-wise? Uh, anywhere between 190 and 220. 230 or 240 watts or something. When I'm doing an endurance ride, I normally stick at 220. And join us with QA. Thank you. Thank you, Paddy. What an awesome name. What an awesome name. Alright, we're gonna do another another 300 watt interval. But 45. It's get! So these intervals aren't really that hard, but they just get the legs firing a little bit before tomorrow. Stops them from stiffening up. This is like my standard, this is like my standard um, pre-race ride. It works, it works for me. And it's always good to get in a, into a routine as well. You, Shay Miller and Maven should all have a ride together. Yeah, and also Jesper. Imagine that a four-way, a four-way live stream. We got all our webcams up. That'd be insane. You go into tomorrow with any expectations? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully do well. 
right. Where I live, there's a lot of domestic pros live around here. So races are always so hard to win. Especially now, like in the elite races, in the first cat races. But hopefully we'll get up there, put in a good performance. Do you need a webcam to Zwift? No. You only need, you only, you only need a webcam to live stream. Like me. What saddle do you use? Uh, a Sele Italia SLR. Your thoughts on Chinese wheels? Uh, don't do it. Why risk your life? <clears throat> Please give me a shout out. Paul Harrison, shout out. Have you ever had a net, oh, what's your average training pace on a ride? Um, I don't know, anywhere from like 18 to 20 mile an hour, depending like obviously on how hilly it is. Oh, fine. <coughs> what do you need to use Zwift? Um, you even need, like if you've got an old school trainer, you even need a power meter or a cadence magnet and a speed magnet, or if you've got a smart trainer, which are the ones which sort of change resistance according to the terrain, the in-game terrain, then all you need is the um, is the smart trainer. Have you ever had a head-to-head -head with a pro? Oh yeah, like up it like in the breakaway, not like world tour pros, <laughs> but. Domestic pros, yeah, of course, like every race. Um, 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 thoughts on fl flipping my sip seat post? Uh, I think you can. I, don't, I think you can flip your seat post like safely. I've never done it. Do you see yourself becoming pro? Or are you happy racing for fun? I would love to like turn pro. That's been my dream since I started cycling. I guess it's a lot of people's dream. Oh, Ben, Ben Hackett, my old school friend. If you ever fancy a very slow ride, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it, Ben. Let's do it. <coughs> I'm a 15 year old cyclist from York who wants to start racing. What would be the best tips for me? Just start racing. That is literally, I get asked all the time, what's the best tips for starting racing? Like what training do I need to be doing? Just start racing. The best way to train is to race. The best way to gain experience is to race. So yeah, find your local crits, which I think there's a few around York. Find your local, local crit circuit and uh, just start. Get your British cycling license. My name's Joe, by the way, not Paul. Why is, why is your username Paul Harrison then? Hey, you're messing with my brain, fam. You're messing with my brain. Yeah, get a bike. Obviously, you need a bike to race. Uh, what level do you have to be to reach to turn pro, or is it about being recognized as doing well in lots of races and being an offered a place? Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a hard one, really. You just gotta win races start to get your name out there and get recognized and then especially like if, if, if teams if domestic teams could turn up to races and you start beating their riders then their team manager is going to start looking at you like all right this guy 
This, this, this kid's pretty decent. He's like beating our, beating our riders. It's just about getting on the radar. Because it's my dad's name, it's his account. Fair enough. Fair enough. 51 minutes already. What's everyone's riding plans today? Is anyone, are we going out riding? Are we riding on Zwift? Are we taking a day off? Let me know. I'm always keen to hear what you're up to. Seven PM Australia time. Well it's ten AM British time. Could you give me a turbo trainer? <laughs> Pre-race ride, racing, racing. Another ride around Lanzarote. Ah. Oh. My dad's calling me. Sorry, Dad. I'll call him back. Now the chat's gone off the screen. It's okay, we got it. No ride, gotta work. That's, that's unlucky. Yeah, so Max O'Connor riding around Lanzarote. I'm not jealous of you. I'm not jealous of you. Uh, should I hire a bike for a week when I go away to La Palma? Yeah, 100%. I'm riding to Warrington to drop some new leg warmers to a mate. I'll come to Chorley. <laughs> it's a bit windy here, yeah. I went to Lanzarote last year, just on holiday, and it was so windy. So windy. Same with like Fort Ventura, which is another uh, Canary Island. Do you watch Cycling Tom? Truthfully, on and off, I don't actually watch a lot of like videos on YouTube. A lot of the time, I'm too busy editing them. People who I watch religiously, right? Every single video without fail. Jespers, Francis Cade, uh, Cycling Maven, Casey Neistat. That's probably that's probably it. Yeah, that's probably it. I live on Bradley Lane, and Jack, my bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jack Harrison. I have two weeks without a bike. That's, is that, will that kill my season? Nah, it'll be fine. Do you watch GCN? Uh, again, not all the videos. Not all the videos. Like some of them, if, if I see one it catches my eye, and I will. All right, 55 minutes, we're coming up to the hour. Julian Ryder is okay if he's being Harley the cyclist in the vid, not playing up to the vegan thing. Yeah, I was quite, I was quite, uh, I was quite impressed with how normal Harley was being like in during the Indy Pack and covering the Indy Pack. I don't know, he wasn't trying to be something he wasn't. I, that's the first time I've sort of seen that side to Harley. Hi Cam, what's the biggest what's your biggest ride in Zwift? Did a 200 mile ride in Zwift in February, nine hours. Wow! 
Going for a couple. See you later, Matt. Matthew Hanford. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, 200 miles. Wow. Me and Jesper uh, did a joint live stream like a month ago, and we did uh, 100 miles. So we did no, no, we didn't. 100 miles. What am I talking about? We did 60 miles, 100 kilometers. You know, it's three hours of riding, and that was a long time. So yeah, nine hours on on the trainer is incredible. Well done. Well done, Brian. I probably couldn't do that. All right, we're gonna do one more three minute interval to end. At 300 watts again. How long have you been cycling for? Uh, road cycling for like three years. BMX racing since I was like five. There's someone just stood at my window watching me, talking to myself. It's the last interval. It's gonna hold it a little bit higher than 300 watts for this last one. Just uh, cause I feel like it. Harder. <laughs> she held like 350. Let's do 350. Or 400. Nah, 350 is good. Sack it, let's do 400. It's been basic 400 anyway. Would you recommend a power meter for a non racing cyclist? No, don't waste your money. Keegan Gradlestone, yeah. We'll talk about him in a minute. I'll finish this 400 watts. Let's, let's address the power meter conversation or question. Um, look, if you're not racing, you don't need to buy a power meter because to be at the to be at the ability to uh, I'm trying to catch my breath to be at the ability to cycle like in a, in a group ride, like comfortably and be fairly fit. You don't need a group ride. Morning cam, <laughs> that's cool, Lactic. What's up Lactic, Lactic if you're watching the stream, hi. Um, yeah, you don't need a power meter to be, at that, to, to be at the ability to ride with a group. If, if you're just riding for fun, I wouldn't say, it's pointless looking at your power and thinking, oh I can do an FTP of 300 watts. Like, what's that gonna achieve if you're not racing? Uh, like my uncle is a good 
cycles. He rides our chain gang every Thursday. He's a like fit guy, and he doesn't have a power meter. He just commutes to work every day. Um, so yeah, you don't need if you're not racing. My my opinion would be spend more on some nicer kit or a nicer pair of wheels or something. Uh, don't get bogged down in, in your power. Have you anyway? How have you heard of Keegan G Girdlestone? Yeah, the, um, the the Dimension Data Rider. I was basically given up for dead, and he had his first pro ride back today. An inspiration. Yeah, Keegan. Okay, I don't know. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. That's like incredible. I, I, he actually posted a couple of, of videos about it. I, I commented on one to say like. Now, this is incredible, well done, or some, I don't know, something like that. Uh, he didn't get back to me, but yeah, his story is pretty incredible. He basically went from riding his bike like a kid again, like not being able to ride his bike, and now he's back racing pro. Incredible. Is your SRM fixed? No, Deadpool, it is not. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little, little bit angry about it, you know? A little bit angry. Um... Do you ever ride with Junior Cyclocross Champion Tom Pidcoss in your road races? Yeah. I've ridden with Tom one race this year, Yeti Sowins. He's, he's a very good rider. <laughs> Obviously, he's junior, junior world champion. Yeah, he's incredible. And he might be at the race tomorrow. He was here last year. So, yeah. How many hours a week are you doing, Cameron? Training. Um, Probably like between 12 and 15, pretty close to 12. Like this time of the year, the duration of the training has, has come down a little bit, um, but the intensity has obviously increased to get the legs, to bring the legs speed up uh, for, for racing. Yeah, do the, like a month ago I will be doing about 15 hours, but yeah, now it's probably more 12, and it will stay at about 12 during, sort of during the whole season now. Which I, I just find out that's what works for me, so that is what I do. Um, awesome to hear your opinion, mate. Cheers. I'm guessing that you're talking about the, the power meter question. Yeah, it's quite an orthodox thing to say to not buy a power meter when every other person on YouTube is saying you need a power meter. But yeah, I, I use for like disclaimer. I use a power meter. I race, and I use power every single day. Or when I, I did use power every single day. Now it's. Uh, when it's working. What FTP are you working at? Uh, 370 watts for 20 minutes is my FTP. Cycling Tom's in the chat. Yo, what's up? What, what's up? <laughs> All right, one hour, four minutes. We said we were doing an hour. Oh, bonk, thank you for the, oh, hashtag ride for Mike. Oh. Kudos to you, man. Come to New Zealand, yeah. We were talking about this earlier in the chat, Tom. I want to come to New Z well, like Australia anyway. Maybe New Zealand. But just money. <laughs> maybe, maybe, hopefully for like, maybe the tour down under next year, we can make this happen. Don't know. We'll see what, we'll see how the channel's doing. Off to work, good luck for tomorrow. Thank you, Deadpool. See you later, man. All right. Guys, we said we're doing an hour. That's an hour and five minutes. So I'm going to end the stream. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, drop a thumbs up. Just down here. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the vlog this evening, 5 p.m. Good luck for tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Do you ever play football when you were younger? No. I did play football. I wasn't good at it. That's why I started riding bikes. I was that bad. I, I couldn't even go to the football training. <laughs> no, I, was, I wasn't very good at football. All right, guys, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you.